another edition of Wrestling Sheet Radio. I'm your host, ProWrestlingSheet.com, Editor-in-Chief Ryan Sad, and here with my co-host, Jamie Iovine. Hey, everybody. We're also here with my former co-host of the Raw and SmackDown recaps, John Roca. Woo! Yeah, what's up, everyone? <laughs> I told you all I wasn't just, like, getting rid of Roca. <laughs> I, I, I told you all I was going to try and use him as much as possible when I can. Uh, we're also blessed with the presence of Jay Washington today. Do I jump up like Roca did or just no, sit here? No, just okay. be much more normal. Okay, yeah. cool. I just want to make sure. <laughs> we already got Roca for that. That's right. Uh, no, and there's a lot of stuff to talk about. I was lagging before we were recording, so I want to get into it as quickly as possible. And I want to start off with uh, th- this ridiculous... Ridiculously stupid story about Jim Cornette and and how stupid he was for saying this on commentary, how stupid it was that it made air, quote unquote, uh, when it's a taped show, it's not live. Uh, I want to get into this. So uh, uh, Jim Cornette resigned from the National Wrestling Alliance this week, all over uh, offensive comment that he made on uh, commentary during an episode of Power. Uh, He was describing the strength and courage of Trevor Murdoch. And he said he's the only man I've ever known that can strap a bucket of fried chicken on his back and ride a motor scooter across Ethiopia, which was fucking insane. Like, I, I, look at I, it's I, just I, so far out there. Well, and the craziest part is that it's something that he had said, I guess, in a promo like in the '80s, and he has said in the past. <laughs> but it's like just because you said something in the past doesn't make it okay now. I think that's the issue I have. People are like, yeah, he said it in the '80s, like this ain't the '80s. Yeah, they use hey, the hey, N word hey, more did loosely. You know, in the he's 80s. friends with New Jack. Oh yeah, <laughs> so, so it's okay, right? Yeah. And they film in Atlanta, so it makes it even more yeah. better. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, we're it's forgetting the, the most important part of oh, the I story. Didn't, I didn't realize you wore your I, I, fancy I, new I WCW shirt. A horrible oh. day to wear it because it's been so cold all day. <laughs> so no. Nobody's even, seen yeah, it. You can't even flex it out there. Nobody's no. seen it. Like I even debated like going home washing it tonight so I could wear it again. That's it's like it's like a do over almost. That's fair. Um, so uh, this was so ludicrous. And yeah, the whole '80s thing where it was like, well, he said it in the '80s. It's like. There were so many things uh, that the were said in the 80s. Do- the junkyard dog was a thing in the 80s. Uh, let's uh, not Kamala re- existed. In, the 80s. Let's not <laughs> in general. Me. Rowdy Roddy Piper used the term boy a lot of times, okay? So there was a lot of things in the 80s that aren't okay today. And, I, and I, this is the biggest thing, and I was telling you this earlier. I'm just going to call it for what it is. White people, you don't get to tell black people what is and what is not racist. You know what I'm saying? Because that's what a lot of tweets and a lot of Facebook posts, oh, it's not really racist. Like, first of all, yes, the hell it is. <sighs> And it's not saying, mm. and again, it's not saying Jim Cornette may be racist, but again, it's a Southern dude in Atlanta talking about wrestling. I kind of expect it. Let's, let's pull Sometimes. this back, though. Let's pull this back for just okay. a second. First of all, the 80s have nothing to do with this. Okay. Crime time was like five years ago. That was So I feel like we're, we pick and choose what we're offended about in wrestling and what we're racist, what isn't racist. There's a lot of racist shit that WWE does sometimes. There's a lot of, through the history, I mean. Yeah. And then you go. I was going to say, not, not, not lately. Not lately, of course, but like through the history we've seen the stereotypes like Iron Sheik or whatever, those kinds of things they're purposely done for stock characters but isn't Trevor Murdoch a white guy yes so the strapping the fried chicken walking through Ethiopia he didn't say it about a black guy though no, uh, that's you're the missing, po- the you're point. missing the you're point. Missing Tell the me what the point, point is. Tell me what the point is. <laughs> he's saying he's brave because. Oh, so I'm, this is going to sound. Oh, horrible he's because saying because they <laughs> would take the fried yes. chicken off his back. Yeah, the, duh. In Ethiopia, a, a known whenever you see. T- wow, well, I'm glad I we get educated today. Go, 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 it's okay, I gotta leave. <laughs> I gotta leave because I feel any, uncomfortable now. Yeah, because anytime you I've see I've rethink my whole last 24 hours. Jesus Christ. And yeah, it's just. I mean, it was just a wow, wow. No, all right. But for anyone, you want to continue for anyone who maybe yeah, so the same way. <laughs> Anytime you've ever I'm seen Ethiopians it depicted, they've always been skinny <laughs> black children yeah. that are just like from almost the third world country type thing. Oh. And again, fried chicken is, yes, we know everybody eats it, but it has always been used as a stereotype yeah, against yeah, of black course, people. Of course, of course, yeah. And for to say a big and it's white, not only black people in Ethiopia, but right. still, like, just say yeah, a big white dude. what the visual he was going for was is very fucking clear. Okay, so then the question is, why would he go so the far out? So far out there with this kind Jim of a Core fucking net. Is it because people have been coming after him and he's been getting away with it over no, the last it's, it's year the, it's or so? No, it's the opposite of that. I genuinely that, don't think he thought at the time it was anything. Exactly. Yeah. He, it's, he, just he thinks it. this way. This is, how, yep, this is how his he brain thinks. thinks. Fair and, point. and so, you know, a lot of people are going like, whoa. That's why I say because he's Jim Cornette. Dave Chappelle say things yeah. that are like that. You know, first of all, Dave Chappelle's black. He can say stuff like that. He, <sighs> wow, he, wow. he could make a joke like that and it would be much more appropriate than a fucking Jim Cornette. Second of all, Jim Cornette's not a comedian. He was a guy who was doing commentary trying to get people yeah. over and he's using a clear racial stereotype yeah, yeah. here to try and get someone over and it, and it's insane um you know also it, it, 
anyone who didn't see this coming, you're insane. This right. includes Billy Corgan yeah, and, right. and everyone at the NWA. There's n- you you could not have been foreseen this happening any more clearly. Like it was, mm. I said it when they when they when it was first like confirmed that he was going to be the announcer on Power. I was like, well, yeah. it's only a matter of time. I'm right. just really really disappointed in how. Uh, Because, you know, I'm part of a company that's not a sister company, but a distant, a a distant Mm -hmm. relative. Absolutely. You know, and um, and a lot of people that are involved in my company, I'm not my company, the company I work for are the same people that work for NWA. Yeah. And a lot of people that, you know, were in charge of what happened, you know, didn't do it. Yeah. But let it happen. Yeah. You know, taped tape show and whatnot. And I'm not here to, like, cast super blame on anybody, but I am kind of disappointed with how it's been. Reacted to. I know. Exa- I think I know exactly what you're talking about. And I, I'll allude to it, but I know exactly. I know exactly who you're talking about because I've, <laughs> I've seen some of those posts. And so I, I know. No, no. I will. I will say names. I just because I know what you're talking about. But it's just also. It's how, a few people, right? But, but how did it get through the edit? That's the no, That's another thing. This got through the edit. That's fair. This wasn't a live. This was show weeks right. ago. Yeah, right? If yeah. this was live, then we could be like, oh, he had a. People will say he had a slip of the tongue. It would have just been him. It would have just, just been, been him. I heard interviews was, where Lagana says that he will take out minor parts of the match if it feels like it's taking out of, from the flow of the show. So mm. if you're taking and minor parts of the you matches. You didn't notice out. that. Yeah. That is one thing that is clearly in, and I guess because the way if you watch it, it's literally part of a rant almost. Yeah, the way he's you have going to, through, you have to go back a couple. Times. Yeah, you have to go back because it, it happens so quickly. <laughs> yeah, it happens so quickly. So again, the editor would must have been listening. Just was like, all right, so we're good here. They were probably just watching the match more than anything than the commentary. I would, yeah, probably. Or they thought to themselves, well, he said this in the eighties, yeah. so like, or maybe it's the a guy. Thing. I would, I wouldn't even be shocked if the guy who was editing it, did, he may have heard it and just didn't, you know, didn't like much like Rope. Didn't like me. put he two was and like, two together. No big deal. It's a white dude. <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, Cornette still hasn't talked about it at all. He he's uh, waiting for his podcast. He's waiting for his podcast, it. obviously. Which, by the way, credit to him because he's now going to have more listeners than ever True. on this one. This, oh. this episode's going to have a lot of, of listeners because he's not saying shit until No, tomorrow. all he said was this tweet. He said, morning, everybody. Heard any good jokes lately? This is coming Friday's <laughs> oh Jim Cornette experience uh, is liable to be a good one if you like hearing stupid people told what they can do with so, their stupidity. So, if anybody's hoping for an apology of some sort. Yeah. <laughs> also, good luck. can I go to that to that tweet because I saw it and I wanted to, I really wanted to reply to it on Twitter, but I said, you know what? I don't have the patience in my mind. Because what would that. happen? He'd be say, he'd say something mean and then block you. Right. If, if he even responded. If he yeah. even responded. Right. But also, not even just the cornet stands. Uh, to say it was a joke, I think that's become an issue. Big. That's become a bigger issue nowadays. Like people brought up Dave Chappelle, right? Also, we go back to the dude Shane Gillis from Saturday Night Live, mm. who was saying the racist st- shit he was saying was a joke, and it wasn't. So it's like I understand as a comedian personally. Like, look, there are levels we take, but again, Cornette's not a comedian. Mm. Cornette has said racist shit like this in wrestling in the '80s, which does not make it right then nor now. So I feel like. Like you said, Ryan, it was only a matter of time. Now, it's funny all this came out because the day before, my homie Dale Rutledge texted me the link about possibly auditioning for power as a worker. <laughs> and I'm right. So I was like, man, I got to make sure I find this match I got. I got to get this promo that I have. And then next day comes out and he was like, so still going to send that video? I was like... Probably, because <laughs> it's, it's, it's one guy. It's one guy. It's not so the president. Yes. Yeah. and he's gone. Yeah. So yeah. 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 like yeah. it's Logano or, or Billy Corgan. You know, yeah. who I've met numerous, I've talked to numerous times. And Billy Corgan is on. Used to be an Infowars guest all the time, and says some crazy stuff. Mm. Have you looked at Billy Corgan, and does it surprise you? <laughs> <laughs> it's a Smashing Pumpkins guy. It's right? funny. I yes. was saying something the other day. It's weird. I, I was saying to someone the other it's day. It's always weird. I thought to myself, you know, I wonder if. If that's how Kurt Cobain would be, have been if he was still alive, like how do you think he would have known? And I love Kurt Cobain. No, no, I'm like a biggest Nirvana fan. Do you think he turned like a MAGA hat? Is that what you think? No, I think no, he'd been the, cra- I just I think think he'd he'd been the most some... far left oh, person. Oh yeah, maybe. 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 I, I think because what's his face? Chris Novoselic has, has become political, all that yeah, kind of yeah, stuff. Yeah. I just, but then Dave Grohl is not like you know. So I, but right. I wonder if like he'd be some weird conspiracy theorist that's like throwing out weird stuff just to get a rise out of people. I'd like, be shocked. I mean, he was chemically imbalanced for sure. Exactly. So, yeah. That's right. why. And he already used to throw out weird like thoughts to people just to, just to see how they'd so react. So what to you're it. saying is Kurt Cobain would have been a regular guest on Joe Rogan's podcast. <laughs> Absolutely. That's honestly 
exactly what I wonder. Been, it would have been a regular guest with Maybe. Elon Musk, and that would have been <laughs> the weirdest shit to ever see, but it's been the greatest thing ever. <laughs> that's honestly what I wonder, 100%. Uh, all right, let's move on a little, just because i got to wrap through things here. Got to go through things really quickly here today. Um, <laughs> there was another story out in the news this week, uh, and that's the fact that AEW is reviving Bash at the Beach. Uh, they're bringing the classic On a name. beach! <laughs> which I love! <laughs> <laughs> it's not going to be on a beach, though. Is it not? It's on a boat. You think it's going to be... It's going to be on a... It's going to be on a beach. It really, has to be. I, this, no, no, because they're... Cool. It's in Miami. It's in Miami. They're, no, they're, they're doing it at the arena. Yeah. Where it's in Miami. Oh, so they already sold tickets I to it. I missed that. Yeah. That shit was so cool. Was Bash at the Beach ever actually on a beach? Yeah, yeah, a few yeah. times. A few times. Yes, Daytona. that's what made it. That's why it was called Bash at the Beach. Because well, yeah. it was at a beach. Where they had, like, the background that one of was, a beach. But no, before that, there was, uh, like, Vader... There's Vader versus Hogan in the cage match at okay, Bash yeah, at the Beach. You're right, you're right. Yeah, I think... Wasn't Pamela Anderson Bay? Watch part yes. of it for yeah. one time. Yeah. yeah, but also you can't. <laughs> this is my thought process when they when I saw they were bringing Bash to the Beach back in January. That like you can't. It's still nice in January. I mean, it might rain occasionally. It's not gonna be beach weather in January. <laughs> well, it, it, well, listen, you, you would be a, surprised, sir. Especially in Miami. You're Miami good. is good. You know, yeah. you guys apparently know Miami better Miami, than me. I don't know. Good. Miami I is good. I wouldn't want to go to the beach here in January. Well, it's a completely different beach. Is it really going to be that? It's, 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 it's so climate. different. It's there. completely different climate. Plus, the, the mugginess will get it, keep it hot and stuff. So, yeah, you don't have to right, worry about fair that. Fair enough. Fair enough. Well, it's not going to be at the beach. It's going to be <laughs> in an actual <laughs> arena. Which I'm bummed about because it was such a cool aesthetic when it was on a beach. And See, I actually like... I gotta look this up now. Hold on. Well, it's tied to the cruise ship, right? So a piece of me yeah. was like, are they gonna set up a ring? Like, wouldn't a that be cool? If one of the stops. Well, they are, like they Jericho's cruise. Are, right? Remember, Jericho's cruise is on a cruise. Jericho, the Jericho cruise. Well, they they wrestle on. They're it. doing both. They're doing both. So the show the Dynamite Bash shows the beach are, yeah, is right. gonna be at. Is the, it's a nine day thing. They right. a fan Which thing. I would even be happy if they just had the whole pay per view on the boat. Well, but think of the logistics of that. The cabling alone would be impossible. It's just the cabling in it. The cabling. Well, that means the boat. Yep, the boat has to stay docked. Yeah. It just the boat has work. to be docked. It would, it would be impossible to do on the boat without a well, I guess to so. do it live. Yeah, to do it live. That's why they're filming them on the boat, feeding it yeah, back, feeding it back. Yeah. and then they're going to edit an episode out yeah, of that, that one sense. as well. So what's going to be is there's going to be the Bash of the Beach was going to be live, uh, the Dynamite episode, and then the yeah. next week's uh, episode of Dynamite is going to be a taped version of the show that features matches from the boat from the Jericho cruise. Um, I see. I agree with you guys uh, to a certain yeah. degree. Here. I thought they should have flipped it and tried doing Bash of the Beach because the boat does dock at a, at an island That's on Jericho's I, yeah. thing. Yeah. We talked about this, I feel like a year ago we had talked about this when, it, when they first re-announced we're it. We were thinking like, the same thing. Yeah, we were. And we were saying then that like they should have done the show on the beach yeah. when they, they dock yeah. as right. opposed to like on the boat live or anything like that. That'd and be just lit. A, that would have been way cool. And I agree with you. And they, that to me, the logistics are much easier to get past that because you could set that up in theory yeah. In, yeah. in the Bahamas. I think that's where they stop off in. And it would look way cooler than just uh, like a fake beach set or whatever. The other part of the story is really interesting. Uh, when they asked Khan about how he got the trademark for this and he said Cody just went on this trademark binge late one night. Like does he have a bank, an open banking, like an open check for him to look for trademarks and pay for them well, and, and lock two, them down? Twofold. It is expensive to, to yeah, trademark that's what I'm saying. Yeah. That's why I'm asking. But it's not like unreasonably expensive. Okay. So if you're like balling and even like a little bit. And that's probably out of Cody's pocket. Yeah, not even, that's, that's probably Cody. out of pocket. Oh, really? oh yeah, yeah. Oh. That's not even out of the cons. That's probably like most, what, like a couple hundred, something like that, like yeah, a thousand maybe yeah, or something like, like that. Like, depends on how big the trademark the tra is. Yeah, like corporation how much work already. the person has to yeah. do. Yeah. Yeah. You need a trademark lawyer to do it because the trademark lawyer can just handle it. And I know Conrad is like all about trademarking stuff lately. So I believe him and Conrad went on a right. trademarking binge that night. And But like you said, you know... It's it's a weird it's 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 a, it's a it's a muddy road there a little bit yeah. to a certain degree because like from what I've heard if if WWE owns a trademark on something and they still use it to a certain degree all bash the beach because they're mm -hmm. promoting bash they still have bash the beach on their network or whatever um, I think that even if the trademark goes dead they still have the right to start it whenever they want and it's not oh. just like. Anyone can take it. Type well, as thing. We, well, as we've seen, I mean, he hasn't specifically named anything, but uh, Cody has said, "Oh, I uh, like tweeted. You guess he's going to court." Yeah. And I, oh. I, I was going to bring that up. He yesterday he did tweet like a uh, gift that said like "Welcome to Pettyville" or something like that, and it said uh. like I'm, "I'm ready to go to court" or something like. Uh, I guess I got to get a suit because I'm ready to go to court. So or something that means like that. as soon as he but brought that up, but then he deleted up. it. 
So I don't. I'm yeah, well, still, his attorney probably told him delete that. <laughs> so of course, of course. Too. And after Dynamite, attorneys last, hate Twitter. That's like it's the worst thing in the world. Because they like, worst. they like, hey, can you? Oh, come up. You know, people didn't screenshot this yep. already. Like, yeah, yeah. I have to do people even like. Do you don't have to put that on Twitter? And I'm the worst with Twitter. So I I'm like, lie. I've deleted a lot. I'll come, man, I'll be yeah. like, damn it, I have Jay's the worst with Twitter <laughs> and Facebook. No, oh. f- Facebook, I'm good. I'm decent. I'm decent. <laughs> on Facebook. I'm decent. Um, but yeah, I I do wonder. If that's what it was about, I've been working all day trying to figure out if they got some sort of legal letter from well, WWE because it wasn't just Bash the Because Bash the Beach, it seems like something he's been working on for a while. But he also yeah. he also filed trademarks for uh, Battle Bowl, which is an old WCW event, Bunkhouse Stampede, and the Match Beyond, which is the original mm. way that War Games was referred to. Um, he also seems like he's gotten the trademark to Dusty Rhodes as well. Um, you know what I have an issue with, though? I, I feel like... Cody wants all these old WCW names. I get that's what AEW is supposed to feel like. It's supposed to give you this new feel of having WCW back, especially being on TNT and whatnot. But it's like, come up with the newer names. I, I, I understand there is some nostalgia with certain things. Mm. Like when when they do StarCast, to hear, just to hear how it sounds. But like when you now have, um, you have WWE doing certain ones as well. And it's like, yo, just move forward. That's exactly how I feel the situation. Yeah, forward. but that's not the wrestling business. They oh, always go. But back. that was what they Hogan. promoted. They said we're going to change. We're going to do new. Th- we're going to do future. new things. This yeah. is gonna, we're going to change the business. Yeah, but then you bring a Shivani that isn't really going. You know, I agree. That's what I'm saying. I think. I think they're trying to put have it both ways. They're trying. Yes. To, they're trying to have half their one of their feet in the past and the other other half and the other full foot in the future. Well, I mean, that's why. I mean, that's why every pay per view is named after a WCW event. Yeah. Yeah. They're not. I but mean, it's it's the it's, pass is in the back. It's in it's in production. That's yeah. what they have. Yeah, but even WWE doesn't walk away from that with NXT. You have Shawn Michaels involved. Yeah, but WWE Regal doesn't walk away involved. with it because it's their actual history. Yeah, they oh, that's did fair. that. That's a like fair point. I get it that yeah. Dusty Rhodes did that, but it's Cody, but right? AEW didn't do that. But like, Cody connected to it, doesn't it? Get kind of no. look past that. No, right. Cody is supposed to, again. I, I respect everything Cody's doing. You know, because I sat in, in this room with him. Cody is supposed to be making his own thing. Yeah. Is, he said it. This is his own thing going forward. Yeah. That's literally what he said. So to try to get these older things that have been done, it kind of almost, you know, negates some of the stuff you're trying to do going forward. And some of your 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 mission statement that yeah. you said to get people on board. Yeah. At least that's how I look at it. That's how, to me personally, like I'm like, what are you? Are you are you a WCW tribute brand or are you guys the future of wrestling? Which one is it? Because I don't think you can be both. I don't think you can be playing. I don't think you can be a cover band and expect to be the biggest band on earth. I don't know if you can call it, but now here's where I'll disagree because everybody to an extent, all these the companies that are now trying to come up, the the model to follow behind was what WCW did in a sense because they were the only company to give the WWE a run for their money. Mm. Even even TNA did it for a moment. You see what I'm saying? So yeah, even TNA did but it. But WCW until, lost. Yep. I, I I get it. I, I do get it, yeah. You, but the only reason they lost is was because the owner of the WWE said, "I'm tired of playing with you all. I'm buying you." Well, only because the ratings had gone down, NWO messed stuff up, and because AOL, Time Liquid. Warner merger yeah. happened. I mean, all those. There were a lot of different made you know, it available for him. Yeah, there were, him, there were a lot of different bought. elements, right? And, and TNT never believed in it. I just think it. I, I just think that perception matters to a lot of people, and to a lot of people yeah. who aren't necessarily maybe lapsed fans, you go, "Why are you a cover band for the failing team?" What 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 do you get? What do you get out of that? I, I don't necessarily feel that way, but I understand why you would feel. But that you way. are the type that misses all that. Yeah, I do. I because I, I like to see the good stuff and still respect for the past. I appreciate that. You know, and they trot them out. Same thing with NFL. They always trot out the old guys at midfield. The Bears just did it uh, a few weeks ago with the 1985 team. They still won't let go of that. Yeah, team but they won't let them. Later. But they don't put them on the field. Exactly. Well, true. They, true. They're not going to put them. They're not going to have them wear old. They're not going to have them wear old helmets to go on the field. That's fair. They used to be. They do rock vintage jerseys. A lot, but not. Nah, t- that's why I went for the helmet because I knew you. Yeah. I knew if I said that shit, you were gonna say that. I fucking knew it. That's why I was like, I went for it. I was, I saw that ahead like of time. Jamie's like, Poof. <laughs> you, you were waiting to throw that dagger in that line. <laughs> uh, let's, get, let's get into AEW Dynamite this week. Uh, kicked off with Nick Jackson versus Ray Phoenix. Uh, a lot of people seem to like this match. What you guys? What you guys think? Yeah, of this match? it was fun. It was. It was really. It was fun. I mean, um, I like. I always. 
even as a kid, I always liked seeing the uh, when like people who are known for tag teams like have the one off, like whenever Hawk would wrestle or whenever Road Dog would wrestle. Yeah. I always mm-hmm. liked that. And this was a case, this brought it back to that because you know WWE doesn't like to do that as much with uh, like they never like I don't think I've ever seen the Viking Raiders work singles. You never ever. will. Yeah, and, <laughs> yeah. and, and uh, probably not with um, uh, whichever other tag. Not even with the revival. Yeah, the revival never. Oh yeah, yeah that you wouldn't see. No, but anyway, um, I found it was it was really fun. There are two people who know each other incredibly well, and as we've all know, that usually leads to great things, and they delivered. And um, you know, I think. Um, I don't know. I mean, is is the time come for you know the Bucks to try something new? I think. See, that's going to be the hardest sell to do, though, because I mean, I don't know. I, no, if you want my honest opinion, no, because it's right. The, that just goes back to like, I, I, I just goes to like they're in a war right now. Mm-hmm. Why would you split up? I'm the not most saying popular right now. Act? I'm not saying right now. I think that I think within two. I think that within the year of 2020, I'm asking. Oh no. That soon? Yeah. I, I mean, don't see it. Okay. I what do you mean so. by new? Do you mean walking away from some Korean their own thing? We'll you mean back splitting, the- up. splitting up? Split up, so at least for a little oh, bit, not permanently. Because eventually the outlaws If they, if they did, it would, be, it would just literally go against, once again, go against everything they've said. Because the reason yeah. they didn't want to go to WWE was because they said WWE would just split us up. Yep. So if they start their own company, the, one of the first things they decided to do well, is split change. themselves up. No, it's just they've said it so many times that I have a hard time believing they plan on splitting themselves up. If you look at the Undisputed Era, they could split up. Because their brand name, singularly, is just as powerful as their overall name. I don't think the Young Bucks necessarily have that 100%. So the split could be interesting because it's a good way to build them up uh, singles-wise but and then reunite later. It's But it's a hell of a gamble. I think, so here's the thing we're not looking at. The Young Bucks are not the Hardys. Right. The Hardys, you were able to split them yeah, up. Yeah, true, man. Have Jeff. two successful yeah. individual Once again, runs. Individual. Com- individual and runs even those guys in. had trouble with it. Well, yeah. Because yeah. ev- eventually, as they went along, they started developing their own character. Absolutely. Yeah, which, yeah, yeah, they yeah. Have, which the Bucks have not no. done. No. Right. And the, and even the whole time, because it was thing like, Jeff stayed the Team Extreme way, pretty much. He never went from that. It wasn't until Matt really became broken Matt Hardy, because even V1 was still a version of the Team Extreme one. Mm. But with the Young Bucks... Everything about them is the same. Also, mm-hmm. how would that affect the merch too? You're, t- you're gonna take a hit on your merch when you're not the young bucks. And I, I don't want to see merch freak Nick Jackson as a singles wrestler. <laughs> like True. I That's just I don't I don't want that. They're fine as a tag team for now. Um, I loved the Jericho versus Scorpio Sky thing that yes. they did. I did too. Yeah. I thought that was great. I, yep. I love seeing that they're giving Scorpio Sky a chance. You know, Sky deserves it. Yep. And so I'm glad he's getting it. And unfortunately, we know he's not going to get the belt from Jericho. I mean, unless they want to pull one over everybody's eyes and be like, I don't think for Jer- a week. I don't think Jericho should lose it yet. I don't know. Yeah. I, I don't, yeah. I'm saying. I don't yeah. think he should lose it. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. But I'm like, unless they just want to be like, here's a quick thing real quick to say we did it. Boom. But no, he won't mm-hmm. lose it. But it, it's nice to show you want to push him as much as they said they want to push him. And they're showing it. And also, you know, the just having Jericho there to... Um, kind of rub elbows with some of these guys is helping some of these people. I mean, when you saw him, I want to say it was uh, Jungle Boy last night, right? For a Mm -hmm. minute, he had like a little thing with Jungle Boy, and you were like, I want to see that. Like, they could help each other. Like, he could help Jungle Boy a lot. Like, he could make, mm-hmm. he could put Jungle Boy, oh, like, not over in, in terms of winning, but like, he could help him get over. Yeah. And, and, uh, um, so I like that Jericho is kind of like, is one of the few, is one of the people in AEW right now who is definitely like, people, is bringing people up to his level. Like, and it's weird to say this, and I agree with you, what you said about Jericho is able to help a lot of people, and he has in the short amount of time that AEW Dynamite has been on TV. It's just almost like it's almost like, and nobody likes people poaching other talent or but or you know people because you could argue oh well they, they, that's why they were at WWE because they were so good but could you imagine if they just had one more person not a Billy Gunn but more like a like a top tier guy a main eventer like Jericho was I think It'd be helpful. They had, just what I think that may be like one of the mm-hmm. like like you know one of the last things they need. They I agree. Oh, I one get, more. I, yeah, I get, I get you. Does yeah. it need to be a, a former main eventer? You think? I think you, you need a main eventer. You do because you the reason more. why all these guys are getting such great rubs is because they're with Chris Jericho. Yeah, you're you know? right. No, you're right. So, right. but you know what's crazy about saying that? Guess who was a main eventer? That we don't even put in that conversation. Who's that? John Moxley was. Yeah, but I no, no. But you get what I'm saying. You see how you say yeah, but 
Hager was too for a minute. But they're not the same caliber. No, 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 no. no, 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 no I get what you're saying. I get, exa- record, I get exactly yeah. what you're saying. But the it's legacy. like we say these main event guys, and then some people are like, well, you know, Moxley was a main event or as Dean Ambrose, and so was Hager. But it's like they're not the same level. Yeah, who's out there? Well, right the, now? The, the, the longevity not alone. The, well, the longevity alone is nowhere near it. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's I, the longevity that really that's is what really what it is. Yeah, because yeah. there's guys that are big names that are more recent, but Jericho's a legend. Like literally, name any major company which. He never showed up on TNA. He, there's a rumor he was going to, but he never did, mm, right? No. Okay, so, I mean, d- other than TNA, if, like, name a major company, he's been in it, you know, including the new ones, you yeah. know? Mm-hmm. And I think that matters, you know? ECW, WC, WCW, WWE, New Japan, and the list goes ROH, on. ROH, he even showed up there once. Did, did he? I th- did no, he? I don't think so. Did he? Wait a minute. That- I don't believe so. If Ray was if Ray was to leave WWE at the end of the year, would Ray be something that would yes. qualify for you? Absolutely, because yeah. Ray could help a lot. Because you know, think about it. Ray would be fitting so well with all these smaller yep. guys. Yep. Like, would a Jungle Boy Ray Mysterio match be great? I think so. Yep. I don't <laughs> disagree. With you. Uh, no, it would be. Uh, and and uh, Ray Mysterio is definitely in that same conversation. Mm-hmm. Uh, he, I, I think they. I mean, he was he was on he was in all yeah. he's at all in. Yeah. So mm-hmm. clearly, he was someone they they. Were interested in at the time, they, he would have been a big help. If they, I think if, WWE just offered him more money. Of course they did. Yeah, yeah, yeah of course. <laughs> they're, that's what they're doing with most people yeah. right now. Where's Del Rio? Uh, hopefully, I, he, never. That is not the name. Yeah, that is dude, not the name. He's just toxic as hell, oh, man. That is not the name just, you know. No. There's not much out there. That's what I'm throwing. No, things although that's I hope I'm so conflicted with this Tito fight, dude. Because I want. to Why do we even? Why does he get his ass? Well, because Tito's mad as hell, but I want Del Rio to lose. Right. Okay. Yeah. Where's the greater of good here? <laughs> <laughs> Can both people lose? <laughs> they just both have that Apollo, have that that Apollo Rocky, uh, yeah, Rocky yeah, three yeah, they're they're just, just punching each other. Yeah, they're just out. <laughs> Double clothesline. Um, I also want to give love to Darby <laughs> Allen versus John Moxley last night, uh, which was a great match. Dude, I feel like AEW has been knocking it out of the park with Darby Allen. Uh, just he has just which. The I'm, coolest guy on the which roster. I'm going to ask you this because you're a worker as yeah. well. That fight, did you see that match? Uh, I didn't see it all. No. Did you see the finish? No. Let me. Okay. It was a. Oh, oof. let me pull it up. Hold because it. Yeah. I rewound that top rope. Um, what's what's gear? It what's, was his paradigm shift. Paradigm shift. I was calling yeah. it a gear shift. Um, well, the top rope paradigm shift. I watched that shit back, and I'm just watching, and I'm trying to see how can you take that without it hurting a lot. And it I just looked so oh, painful. Oh, <laughs> oh he literally like, how do you do him. that without? You can't when you're like, young. No, it's yeah. not even that. It's just that as a work, like you can't. Because usually you would want to take that on your knees, right? right. Yeah, it's, oh my Jesus! Yeah, well, like, look at Ricochet's thing with RKO. That was, that's uh, not that near, no, no, no. It's, it's, way it's worse. like a spike. Yeah, it's like it's like it bounced off the canvas. The Ricochet's was bad too. Yeah, but this like, is like this is <laughs> this is a few feet off the ground, yeah, sir. Exactly. Yeah, it's, <laughs> that's off no, the top rope. It's no pedigree off the cage, and, but I'll and, take and it. Well, what made it even scared me? You know what made it even scared to me is Darby slips a little bit first. Well, and he just well, here's the only thing. I'm this is what I'm getting, and then. This is what I see. Moxley's ass hits first, so that allows the force to push at Darby I Allen hope out. So. I mean, Look at it again. Darby, yeah, he definitely mm-hmm. puts his his like hip down yeah. first. Yeah. If you watch his ass hit first, so this way yeah. Darby doesn't get spiked. Mm-hmm. So in in real time, it looks like oh <laughs> shit. But like when you look at it here, I'm like oh thank Jesus. Well, it scared me because he's because uh, you can't see it in the gift, but he, Darby loses footing a little bit, and you think it's uh, going to stop. Oh. But literally, Dean just purely muscles him back up, like right. like all core strength, just and then just drives him. Which, and, I, yeah. and I'm big on like character development too. Mm-hmm. So I feel like dude, what they've done with those. Those uh, vignettes they did with, with Darby last night where he was like carrying the I body the, bag. I kind of felt bad for the band. Like they gave them so much screen time and never said who they I were. Felt the same. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, this is the worst promo. I mean, like, in ter- like an ad for a band. Promotional and thing, yeah. That's what I mean. Yeah. Can I you imagine being that, promo. But can you imagine being that band was like, yo. We gonna be on TNT tonight. They are gonna plug us everywhere. Uh, nope. No. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't even say the name of the band. Uh, no social media handle. Nothing. Nothing. No, yeah. Nothing. But that video was dope. Like it was, when, when yeah. he's like getting zipped up in the body bag and they carry him out and then he gets out and he just skates down the ramp like holding the body bag behind him. Just like his whole aura is, is just cool. It's just really cool. Again, he could only do that here at AEW. Yeah. He, and I think he know he's even said that he knows he would not be able to be this Darby Allen. Well, I mean, his whole I was talking to someone, I was talking to James about this today, and you know, he I was telling him like I like that Darby's whole thing is not about winning. It's that he wants to die. 
Like that's basically what his gimmick mm-hmm. is. Is that he he says that's why he paints the face. There's a painter <sighs> that he wants to die. That like that, mm. so I kind of like that his motivation isn't necessarily there's a superhero to win matches, or something it's to like die. that that does that. And Dead I'm man, is, right? Or Deadpool? Dead man's already dead though. Deadpool does that all the time, but he doesn't want to. Uh, Oh, it'll come oh to me later. I, I know it's someone. Yeah, there's one. He's just like, I just want to die, but he can't die. Yeah, I gotta remember who it is. It's gonna drive me nuts. But it's Bill Murray. Graham. Here's here's a, here's the thing that and this isn't a refer. This isn't referring to Darby Allen because I think what he's doing is really good. And when it's done well, mm. it's it's done. It's done in this case. But I'm just. I think we're getting too many crazy people in wrestling. Okay. I think it's. I think it's a cop out. I Fair. think a lot of people are starting to be like, oh, I'm, 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 I'm get some, please. Daniel Bryan. Being I think a, it's uh, done too one. much. I think it's a cop out. Yeah. I think it's a, I like. I, I, I don't. No, no I think you're, that's you're very exactly fair. Right. No, you're yeah. right. Every, yeah. That gimmick is. Oh, it was the the. I'm insane. I'm insane. I'm unstable, and that's fine. But then when everybody else is, I'm insane. I'm unstable. You're like, how many people are unstable? Or I like think the dark, only reason or like it people with, with dark, with dark and goth ones, dark Darby. goth ones too. Yes. Dark and goth. Like oh, yeah. everybody wants to be a cool dark guy. And it's like the only thing that's different. I feel like <laughs> is that for Darby Allen, it's not really a character. Like you've worked with him. Yeah, no, that's it's how 100%. he is. Like we literally worked on a shot for two hours, and he said two words to and me. And he like sat in a corner in the dark. Yeah, like, like yeah. he, I was, I thought he didn't like me. Yeah, for the long, I thought <laughs> I was like Jesus. I haven't said one word to this guy, and he's like, he's like, like I even tried to go say thank you afterwards, and he was like really just like. Uh, and then I went to another town. I was like, what's his problem? He's like, no, 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 no it's just just Darby. You know, yeah. it's just like oh, he's wow. not. He doesn't mean anything by it. Like he didn't. I don't. Th- I, I That's just don't like how think, he is. I don't yeah, think yeah. he meant anything by it. I, like, as I've never met him other before that, but like, you know, he's, he's just not an outwardly warm person. Yeah, he might yeah. just be a shy, really shy guy. Yeah, yeah. Like caught up in his own and, stuff. Yeah. yeah. All right, let's hop into war game predictions before we uh, got war, war game predictions, Survivor Series predictions, and we're out of here. Uh, war games. <laughs> by the way, can they give him a chair? Regal? Yeah, they need him a, like that little perch he has. <laughs> I love it. Because I picture Shao Kahn whenever I see it. <laughs> <laughs> like, I think he needs a, like a... Imagine if he had a... He was in a chair and he a had scepter. a scepter. Yeah. <laughs> War games! <laughs> like, that would have been... A, and his British accent, it only works for him because he's See, I would British. rather him have like a, like, a, like a gun or something. I thought you were about to say a guitar. <laughs> <laughs> what I thought you were about to say about... He's about to do War games! I thought like... you said a guitar. <laughs> <laughs> Shredding. He's just Shredding. like Bill and Ted. War games! <laughs> uh, Pete Dunne versus Killian Dane versus Damian Priest. Winner gets an NXT title shot at Survivor Series the next night. Um, I'm I'm gonna go Pete Dunn here. I feel like if they're if they want to show uh, their top NXT talent the next night at Survivor Series and they're they're gonna showcase certain people, um, I feel like Pete Dunn has been one of those uh, trustworthy people to Triple H. He talks all the time about how he, how, he, mm. how how much he uh, how, how big of a fan he is of Pete Dunn and how big of a fan he is of Adam Cole. Uh, so I feel like if if they said to Triple H, which two guys do you want to showcase on Survivor Series, that's probably the one he went with. Yeah, I, Killian Dane sounds like a good bet to finally get him in in front of more people again, because you know you had him with you had him one minute, then one minute, then you're like, well, we're just gonna put him on the back burner. But Pete Dunn has been that look the bruise away. They love him, they love him. They've had him with that whole program last year with Undisputed Era. You know he was the UK champion, so it might as well. It, but the problem is, you take the eventually if you put him up against Adam Cole. What are you going to do with Adam Cole if you take that belt off him? Because you're not bringing him up. No. You no. know, you're not. Because nobody's going up anymore. Well, Remember, that not was right thing. now. Yeah. Nobody's going, up, well, over across the street because it's not going up anymore now. All of them are equal brands, quote unquote. Mm. So it's like, yeah, Pete Dunn's the guy. But then what happens? Does Pete Dunn, Pete Dunn, Pete Dunn win the NXT title? Mm. That becomes a question. You know what I'm saying? Do you just say, hey, we have Pete Dunne as the number one contender, and then he goes to face Adam Cole at Survivor Series? It's Ciampa, right? Ciampa is kind of lined up for this thing, isn't he? Or is Because now Gargano's think... out the picture. Yeah. So that changes a lot. Because, yes, it was supposed to be Gargano, Finn Balor. Right. But, like, a well, lot I think I think next is going to be Finn Balor versus Adam Cole. I don't think Finn Balor is going to be in NXT for, like, a super long time. I don't think he was moved back there permanently. Dude makes a lot of money. I have a hard time believing they're like going to pay him that much money to have that light of a schedule in NXT. Why not? I just he's he, helping to build up NXT. Why would you? Because I feel like they're just going to. Then it would it would negate everything they kept saying about those wild card things. Well, Again, but Triple H said Triple H said that the main roster people moving back to NXT would be 
periodical sometimes where they could see it fit in. Yes, but not going back and forth like you're saying. You're not going to see Finn be in NXT. Now all of a sudden he goes to Raw. That's exactly what I think we're going to see. You think he uses SmackDown and NXT to Raw? Is well, I think where, wherever he was that's drafted where he's, last. Remember, he was at SmackDown. I think he's going back to SmackDown then. Yeah, Finn? Yeah. I think Finn is only temporary in NXT. He's I, doing this to put everybody over. And, I, I, I agree with and to feel fresh again. Yes. Yeah, I agree. I agree. You're definitely they using They were using him. And, you no, know. absolutely not. Because remember the last time we saw, he almost got his neck snapped by the Finn, which everybody was like, shit. Yeah. Yep. But I, I see <laughs> him going to, but I see him being in NXT actually a good thing. Mm. Because like you said, it helps him be fresh. And it actually. Well, six months is a while, though. We spending this much you, time on this match? Yeah, but you're not using that. You're <laughs> not even <laughs> talking about the match at this point. I know. That's <laughs> what I'm saying. Fair, fine, we are, we fine, fine. Jamie's only got 15 minutes. Fine, we got like 20 fine. matches. Fine, well, fine. Well, he can, if we, if we, he can leave if need right, be right, one week. Right. So I'm, well, I'm trying my best. But. Well, well, just my input on the match. In case you were wondering. <laughs> I am. I am. <laughs> <laughs> no, um, it's two things, and they're, and they're not that long. One is um, I... I'm kind of bu- I'm like I agree with you that I think Pete Dunn will go over. I like these kind of matches where it's two big guys and one little small guy because they always find a way to make it fun, much yep. like the Roderick Strong, Keith Lee, and um, Dojico- Dijakovic. You had it for <laughs> one nice. week. Dijakovic. There you go. I said it. I I, I stopped and then I corrected. <laughs> and then um and this is the same thing. And uh, but I am agreeing with you and I think it's kind of a bummer because I think what's missing from Killian Dane right now is he needs to beat somebody. Yeah. He's beaten people, but he needs to beat somebody. Yeah. You know, mm-hmm. like and I don't think this is going to be his night. And I also don't think that they're going to want to if if we don't know the reason why they didn't go with Adam Cole versus Brock Lesnar versus the Fiend, but I'm pretty sure we all have an idea of why. So um. If it was a size thing, you know, then mm-hmm. well, I feel like they're not going to just put him in a match with Killian uh, Dane. Or that would make either. zero sense to do the three, though, because that's just like, oh, we just want to watch Adam Cole get Die. the piss beat out of him. <laughs> yeah. For, just Which like, I was kind of hyped about it. <laughs> like, you know, like not, not, nothing against Adam Cole whatsoever, yeah, yeah. but wouldn't that have been insane? You know, it's, you know, it's like awesome. when, picture, picture those three in the ring, like when they're doing the like when they're doing the intros and you're just like. What is this? Like, totally. is, I was actually thinking one step beyond that. I was thinking this last night. I was like, man, if the NXT UK champions had been involved too, oh, and that, you had I could have loved her in that match. I would have been wow, different. Walter, Walter been versus The Fiend versus Brock would have been lit. I would have yeah. just loved to see how Brock deals with The Fiend. I think that would be the interest because we know how Brock deals with everybody else. And like people now have had these interactions with The Fiend. Like, what is The Fiend? And no one does a and, shock face better than Brock. And then you just got Walter, who's a huge <laughs> man in black, like a giant baby man standing across yeah. the ring who can <laughs> chop your face off, you know? I was like, oh, I would have loved that. That, that would have been, been a cool match. Incredible. Yeah, Brock uh, wasn't taking all them chops from Walter. Oh, yeah, well, no, <laughs> no, 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 no. He <laughs> <what? laughs> <laughs> 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 did it to Braun. He did, did it to Braun. He almost knocked Braun out. Go see that. Braun stumbled. He was humble. He humbled and Brock Brock Lesnar. Lesnar held back. Lesnar could have ki- knocked him out. To, uh, let, never forget, Braun's legs went like baby yes. deer. Oh, yeah, they did. Like, they did. <laughs> he was like a deer um, popping out. Yeah. Your Pete Dunn is what? Pete Dunn. Pete Dunn. Yeah, 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 yeah. Pete Dunn. We're all Pete Dunn. But I agree with yeah. him. I think Killian Dane, if they want to give him something, this could be the time to do it. Yeah. I like that, too. I, I, I completely agree. Uh, Matt Riddle versus Finn Balor. You got to go with Finn Balor here. I mean, it makes no sense to have Matt Riddle win, right? Oh, no. you guys all seem to have a different. I don't. I don't know. Here. I mean, I'm not saying you're wrong, but I don't know if it's so clean cut like. Well, yeah, it's not so clean why, cut. I mean, isn't the whole point of sending back Finn back to NXT is to, to make put it, guys over? No, that's like you not just what said. the point of sending. You just said it was to get the. We just said to no, get the I brand over. No, I get the him. brand over and and, and, and Matt Riddle, Finn Balor Matt, to, to reinvent Finn Balor. Mm. He still it doesn't hurt Balor. Oh, it oh, super hurts Finn Balor. Would hurt Balor. Yeah, yeah. He goes in the main roster to NXT and then loses his first match there. Oh, it is his first. I'm sorry, I didn't know it was. I thought he had a match on NXT already. I'm sorry, I thought he. Had a match. I didn't know it was the first. That's my bad. I'm not saying you're. I'm not saying you're wrong. I'm just thinking that I don't know if it's so obvious. Is what I'm saying. Does does he lose? Does uh, does does it lose something for Matt Riddle to lose here? Uh, No, it does nothing. No, he's a former Universal Champion. Matt Riddle. It does nothing for Riddle to lose. I don't know. And he can still get it back eventually at, at some point. Okay. I just I think if I think if Finn does win, I would like to see some sort of underhandedness if they're going to go full mm. on with this heel thing. Like if it's a clean cut win, I do think it's kind of it doesn't really leave a lot of people to go much else where with it. I feel like NXT's done a good job of like having heels that still have clean victories but still feel like heels. Mm. But I, I get your sentiment there for sure, for sure. I'm just mad that they turned him heel and then moved him off. Because he could have been in the Bullet Club. If you're going to go heal with him, he could have just stayed in the Bullet Club the whole time. Well, they, well, they, 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 clearly, club, they clearly see it as a possibility yeah. and are not pulling the trigger. And right. I, 
that's yet, why I was saying what I was saying yeah, to Jay. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't think I think that it's only for a short amount of time okay. so they can take advantage of him yeah. being part of the OC when the OC is starting to kind of like and run its course a little bit. Everything. Yep, just Boom, Finn's there. Now you've got the full Bullet Club. I, I forget about that, you know, the OC part because with them being the OC, you forget because you don't say the, <laughs> yeah. you know, because yeah. California. Yeah. Like, you don't can't. say the club. Yeah. So, like, if you say the club, then you're like, oh, yeah, cool. Yeah. Um, all right, we got the women's war game. We got uh, war games, plural. Rhea Ripley, Candice LeRae, Tegan Knox, and Mia Yim versus Shayna Baszler, Io Shirai, Bianca Belair, I, and Kaylee Ray. What I made a mental him? note of this so that I really enjoyed the uh, the uh, oh, the uh, the little short segment they had on it. Before, this week on, like, NXT? on NXT? It was great. Yeah. I really enjoyed it because, like, you know, I was wondering, like, is they, they really pulled it off because you're thinking, like, okay, everybody's, like, going to be... Because it looked good, like, aesthetically before they started talking. But then I saw Candice LeRae in the back, and they're all looking like tough people. And I'm like, <laughs> Candice LeRae, legitimately tough. Yeah. Like, we've yeah. seen it, oh, you yeah. know? But she when she speaks, it doesn't sound like it, you know? Very nice. Yeah, very <laughs> nice. She's a sweetheart. I'm just going to knock you out. Yeah, <laughs> and, and they pulled it off. They did. She yeah, sounded. They did. She sounded great, and they, they, everybody on both sides sounded like Shayna looked great in it. You know, Rhea Ripley sounded great in it. Everybody had a chance to talk, and it. Mm. You know, I, it, it's it. It sold me on it. And I loved the big brawl thing they had. I thought that's what you were talking about. The whole like giant brawl thing they had. No, last I was night. talking more so about the uh, like the highlight reel type promo thing. The, oh, okay, and, okay, okay, yeah. yeah, yeah. I was thinking. I was dude because I loved the whole brawl thing last night. That was too. fun too. I thought yeah. it was cool. Like you know, Carmella like, and Dana Brooks come in like wreck house all randomly and Carmella then, like, danced <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and I also love that moment with Io Shirai and, and, and Kyrie, Kyrie saying where like they like they had like duped up for a second and they're like wait but you're bad now wait I'm bad now <laughs> let's <laughs> go fight someone else <laughs> <laughs> I thought that was yeah. great now, nonetheless this match has eight badass women oh in yeah it. this is eight badass women who can all work Mm -hmm. So this is going to be good no matter how it goes down. Okay. As much as I would have liked this to have been kind of like how the men's war games match has been undisputed era, I would have liked the women's war games match to have been the horse women's match or whatever and you have all of them there. But, but also who would have been time, who would have been the fourth person? We already talked uh, it couldn't have been Ronda. It yeah. could no, but I, mean, I just would have liked them kind of trying that. But also at the same time, like the caliber of talent they have put in this match, like these these women are going to tear the house down. Yeah, so I'm yeah. pumped for it. I think it's smart to give them as much exposure on TV too before Ronda comes back cuz then once she comes back and it'll be a surprise if she comes back and they you night then it'll be like yeah you know it's brilliant well they've been teasing it with all the little the, all yeah, the little vignette, the, the total diva stuff they keep letting you know ronda ronda becky beat ronda all this stuff yeah. it's only a matter of time i got yep. team Rhea win this one you got team Rhea. i, I got do. team Rhea. jamie yeah. yes <laughs> <laughs> um i'm gonna go with uh it's honestly a toss-up for me i'm honestly. going to shana it's honestly a toss-up for me i honestly have no idea who's gonna win this i'm one. going team shana with uh, Dakota Kai making some sort of appearance to f screw over Team Rhea for not picking her. Like, Rhea's going to oh, be the last one, uh, Shayna. Okay. And T Tegan, or Dakota Kai comes in and screws her over. Shayna wins. And then we get some sort of feud that way or Can something. I throw one in? Yep. I think Bianca turns on Shayna. I'm into that too. I think that's. A I don't think she. No, I don't think she turns yet. I don't think she turns. She needs a shot. She man. needs her shot. She was yes. up and now she's down. This is true. I, that's what I was about to say. I want to see her shine throughout One this swing stuff. of the hair. That's I want to see some more, but I just don't know. Like I like Bianca Belair as a heel. Me too. You know what I'm saying? I like her as a heel. I haven't liked her as a face as much. Yeah. I, th I think she's so much better as a heel. She's so good at being a heel. Especially the way she whooped, uh, whose ass was that she whooped on SmackDown now two weeks ago? Was she, yeah. was she, she just like, <laughs> girl? Yeah. Yeah. I think it was, was it was Carmella. It was Carmella. Yeah. Yeah. No, yeah. Carmella was laid out, wasn't she? No, Carmella was the one she threw. Okay, yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, it wasn't Dana Brooke. I don't know if she could, like, Dana Brooke a, is, a, is, a, is a muscly woman. Oh, yeah. No, totally. <laughs> I was trying to find the M. Yeah, I, I, I was waiting for what word was coming out. I was like, hold on. Like, what you got, Jimmy? <laughs> what you, what a muscly woman. Um, so, uh, yeah, I, uh, yeah, I'm going Team Shayna. I'm going Shayna Baszler right. with the win. Uh, and lastly, for War Games, we got the Men's War Games match: Undisputed Era versus Tommaso Ciampa, Keith Lee, Dominic Dijakovic, and someone who has not been announced yet. Triple H said that, which I'm um, dying to know. Honestly, I can't even predict it. Triple H said it would be someone, or that that. It's going to be announced on Saturday, the day of. Uh, he said that it will be, he basically implied that it would be an epic choice that would pump everyone up. I know, and I'm dying to know what it is. It's a. I, I, 
Uh, the Velveteen Dream. Yes. Oh, it's Velveteen, Velveteen Dream. Mm. Velveteen Dream. Even, how, I how you think that was an, You think that like announcement today was a red herring? Well, what happened? What, what was happened? The WWE, need, somebody, like, WWE or something reported that he's not going to be wrestling until at least mid 2020. Yeah. No, WWE oh, didn't report that. I didn't, oh, somebody did. Somebody did. Because I know it was a back injury he has or something like that, right? He's I don't know what what it was. He's the guy. The rumors yeah. that Triple H would be the guy. <laughs> so Triple H uh, addressed yeah. that. Um, also, the person who said the 2020 thing is like the least credible source, so <laughs> oh, <laughs> don't listen to him. Okay. Um, but but uh, Jim Cornette. Yeah. What? No. <laughs> um, but uh, um, Triple H addressed the. Will he be the like on the team, mm -hmm. or like if he's going to be the captain of Team NXT on Survivor Series? He said no. Yeah, he I'm was, sorry. Triple H would look so weird in an NXT ring. I agree. As close as he is to the company, <laughs> I thought it would have made sense for the captain Team NXT at Survivor Series. I just think he would look so weird. In he was towering he would. over everybody, everybody. He would. in the ring. <laughs> It would have to be you. You have to save that for someone where it's like really. The only person who looks right is Shawn Michaels. Michael, Champa, I feel yeah. like Champa and Triple H. I feel like could 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 have like a thing. <laughs> Triple H is so much bigger. Than Chompa. Yeah, but yeah. Champa could like could like <laughs> believably be across the ring from him. He's like he wrestled Seth Rollins and he's as big as Seth and and Seth is as big as Seth Rollins. They stood, across, they stood across each other last night. They were the same size. I don't know about It was on Seth? TV last night. They were literally staring at each Champa other. Champa and Rollins? I think Champa was bigger than Rollins. I don't know about Champa was probably more cut up mm. than Rollins. What? Hold on. What are you crazy? Now I'm now I'm thinking I'm now I'm wondering if I'm crazy. I don't think so, dude. Five foot eleven for Champa. Yes. And obviously they changed these. But Rollins is like six one listed. Yeah, probably. I mean, he's listed at six one. Yep. Do do it but I, he's not six one. Uh, no, Kobe ain't no damn six <laughs> one. <laughs> I, um, I I think it's going to be Kevin Owens. Oh. Hmm. I don't quite know how it makes sense considering he's part of Team Raw <laughs> Survivor Series. I don't think it's exciting. Is it as exciting? Like, well, the, the return of Kevin Owens to NXT is a pretty big deal. Yeah, yeah. but it, after what happened on Raw. That's why I say that. Because yeah. there was Undisputed Era who attacked him. And they weren't supposed to, yeah, it looked like. So that's H, what said. Because okay. Triple H like scolded and that's them. What, and that's what sets it up. Okay. Is it epic, though? Is it epic? Yeah, is it epic? Kevin oh. Owens returning to NXT is, to wrestle Adam Cole? Is it epic? Well, this is where we have the problem because this is all relative. You know, what's yeah, epic right, to what's Triple H? That's okay. you know? <laughs> a good point. Sheamus is you? epic to Triple H. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? I'm, I'm down with that. What if Sheamus returned? Look, Sheamus. Hey, he's been doing them Celtic workouts for a reason. <laughs> I mean, the only other thing I could think of... Seamus hasn't been doing much lately. I mean, he's doing a lot of working out. I haven't seen him on TV lately. Mm. It would have to be someone who that they signed that we don't know. That, uh, Unless no you're watching the Liverpool games, he shows up on those. It would have to be someone that was signed that we don't know about or forgot about, like a John Morrison. But John Morrison mm. would make zero sense in that spot. Would it? I mean, just to put, again, it's not... Like, some people came to NXT when they first got there. We were like, why are they not straight on the roster? I like a lot of Samoa Joe. We knew Joe should be just straight on the roster, mm. not going to NXT. It would not surprise me to put John Morrison in that spot when you think about it. Is John Morrison like a like a? Because I was gonna say it's comparable to what's his face who was the NXT champion, uh, Drew McIntyre. Drew McIntyre was a main mm. roster guy. Yeah, but who, who, do you really? I, I just don't. The slow motion fan, because you're going to get that. This ain't no make believe. Who, who's the guy in the red trunks again that was supposed to be debuted and then had some mental health stuff? Lars. 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 Uh, Lars, Lars? Lars? We haven't no. seen Lars. No, Lars ain't coming back. Is he still under contract? Uh, Lars yeah, he is. Lars dealing with a lot of things right now. All I don't right. think it's Lars. Uh, Lars it's throwing people around the room would be great. It's got to be part of this whole thing that's going on. It's got to be a main mm. roster person who's going over there. It, it, it has to be. Well, I mean, yeah. I, mean it, I don't know if it... I mean, it Sasha well, Banks, that's who it should <laughs> Well, remind me... Uh, remind, I got no problem with that. Because yeah. it was so long ago, I don't remember. Um, did Roderick Strong have any interaction with AUP before he oh. came out with them at War Games? Not really. So it doesn't need to make that much sense. Exactly. True. That's why I think it's just going to be a random main roster person who hasn't been there. So that's some, why but, I think Kevin Owens but makes I think, sense. But I think Kevin Owens won't because of the whole Survivor Series the next night. That's the only thing that's putting a wrinkle in my theory here. Because <laughs> I, I, like, I was like, well, but he is on Team Raw the next night, and they're going to be against Team NXT. Mm -hmm. So it makes sense. But no what if Team NXT is under No, because they're in the tag match and the other match. See? Now. I See? saw someone speculate Shawn Michaels. I wouldn't, no. No. <laughs> Jimmy, why you, Jimmy, why'd you get so sad? I'm like, just saying, Jimmy. The level of sad. I saw a couple <laughs> people speculate. <laughs> <laughs> he literally like, got depressed thinking about it. Like, 
These aren't the two Shawn Michaels matches I want to see for no, Saudi Arabia to, to and up, NXT TakeOver. That's what I'm saying, on. to make up for Crown Jewel. He'll come I, in and kick ass. In my opinion, it doesn't matter what he does. <laughs> and, 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 like, because first off, it's the Goldberg. minute he came out, in the chaps and everything, yeah. but it had no hair. Yeah. Not even a buzz, because he had a buzz cut before yeah. that. Yeah. Yeah. And he got rid of that. And I'm like, yo, like you you are the complete antithesis of the heartbreak I'm kid. Still a heartbreak cat. Like him doing that shit. Like I was like, when he came back in 2009 with DX, that was like that was fun. Uh, uh, no. It was, <laughs> I thought it was fun. No, it wasn't. I thought it was fun. Because literally every time something cool was happening, Sean had to go, oh, there's something over here I got to do, and go off camera, yeah. and then Triple H got blown by Candice Michelle. <laughs> like, that's literally what happened. 2009 DX was so lame because, you know, every night Sean Michaels was praying to Jesus. But he would talk about Ooh, being wow. tired. <laughs> he would talk about being tired. He every would talk about being time. old. So he joked about it. And why would DX need to be like, oh, my back. Like, <laughs> <laughs> like that's what I want to see. Better to watch the NWO hobble down the ramp at WrestleMania. Hey, that man, was you right. I, I, Y'all better DX, let old bow legged ass Shawn Michaels come. Down. <laughs> I will say, DX my favorite st- stable is, of all his time. Favorite stable. And I, I was not able to defend the 2009 version. Mm-hmm. Like when they were doing the glow sticks and they were throwing the glow sticks out. Right, that's that same time period. Right. Yeah, 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 that oh, and, yeah. and I remember just being like. What is this? Like, and the, this isn't the, cool. And it's like the cock thing with Vince McMahon. I was like, these guys are 50. Like, this, <laughs> <laughs> these are grown men. <laughs> I'm a grown ass man, dog. Like, these are grown. These, these are grandfathers. These almost. are dads. <laughs> these are dads saying, like, Vince McMahon loves cock. And yeah. it's. Oh, it's because also you There's know no it's age. like when they're like oh Triple H st- like tore the back hinges off of Vince's limo did he really <laughs> what like they wait. had dinner later that week <laughs> I like what Jamie said family <laughs> dinner <laughs> family <laughs> dinner if you're, later watching, yeah, if you're watching on YouTube my favorite part of Jerry that is, when it, is he put his hands on his hips when he did that <laughs> did they really <laughs> like, like <laughs> you just what? had to re- like of course you have to suspend some animation sure, I mean sure, I mean sure. imagine you have to suspend some sort of realism in <laughs> WWE yeah. Yeah. but this was an animation <laughs> I like it. animation. <laughs> Mostly animation. Uh, what about Cesaro? Is that possible? I th- I think he's a solid possible. He I just think- went and beat up all of NXT though. Like Man, it took last a minute. For, it, it took a minute for me to figure out who the hell he was on Raw. With the hat. I, with he the had hat. hat. It took like, the commentators a few minutes. I was like, what the hell is this? <laughs> because they saw the girls ran in and their backs and like uh, and like Ky- Kyrie Sane's back was like and Kyrie yeah. and Asuka's back were yep. to the, the monitors. And then Kyrie had the hat backwards. And so you it looked I was like, like she was Nikki Bella. Yeah, kind I was like, of for who, a second. And then, so, and then I think it was like Beth Phoenix that goes because there was a pause. They said the first two because they could recognize who they were. And then there was a pause because Kyrie and Asuka's back were the camera. And Morrow goes, and then Beth goes, Kyrie said, and Kyrie said. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, who do you think is winning this match, Jamie? Men's uh, War game. The Men's War Games. Um, hmm. That's a tough one. Um, I would. I, 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 I don't know because... Well, I I prefer all the people involved in like on team uh you know Keith Lee and and all them. I prefer them all. I I, I don't like them being friendly with each other because they do such great things when they're all fighting each other. Mm-hmm. And I think if them winning, I don't think that's going to further that. I think that they got to get in each other's way somehow and then lose, which leads to more fun. You know. So mm-hmm. I think I think undisputed era takes it. I think you make war games their match. They got it last year. You make War Games the Undisputed Era's match. It's have theirs. they won all the ones they've been in? I think they have, pretty much. Because I know I was wondering that while I was formulating yeah. the idea in my head, too. Yeah, so, I think they're, they're, this is their match. They certainly tear it down the roof when they do these things. So, uh, I go with Ciampa because I think th- I think they're trying to line up Ciampa and, Gar- and uh, 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 Adam Gar- Cole. Oh. And nothing else would make Adam Cole baby crazier than having uh, Ciampa pin him for the victory here. It would drive him insane. So you and remember, Chompa, keeps, Team Chompa Team Chompa, because he keeps saying he wants Goldie back. Yeah. So, I mean, he's they're playing with that. Yeah. So, yeah. It's a good point. It's a good but point. I hear your point, though. But I, mm. I just think this would be, because they, they have a bigger picture here thing. <sighs> again, I think also, too, I think, it again, it really does. No, I don't think the fourth person matters. I don't think who the fourth person is matters for that team. Mm. I think it's Undisputed Errors still. Okay. You know, I was going to say Undisputed error, but... He does make a good point, Roka here, which I don't say that often, but uh, <laughs> but he. Does, I miss these days. <laughs> <laughs> he does make a good point there. They are trying to set up Champa versus Undisputed Era. Yeah. All right, yeah, 
I'm gonna. I'm but Johnny's gonna, out, right? Johnny's yeah, Johnny's out. out. Johnny's out. So no chance he'll show up he's as the not, fourth man. No. Okay. Uh, I'll All be right. Very pissed if he does. Man, that gave him some then, HGH of the heavens <laughs> if he shows up. What um, if it's punk? But yeah, okay. I'm gonna go with Champa. I'm gonna go with. I, I'm gonna go with what you said. I think that uh, that. Champa or that that Lee and Dominic Dijakovic something happens. Yeah, Fellas, yeah. I'm glad y'all didn't hear what Roku said. <laughs> he said I heard it. I just was kind of hoping we just keep going. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. So since you already <laughs> keep going, I didn't hear. Keep but, going. What if it's Punk? Oh, the God. fourth member. He's moving, an epic. Moving on. Uh, no, I think <laughs> that I think is right. I think that Lee and Dominic Dijakovic they're going to cancel each other out. Yeah. Whoever the other person is will get pinned. I, but <laughs> I think Champa ends up. Getting the victory at the end over Adam Cole to set up him getting some sort of title yeah, shot. That okay. does make sense. Um, Jamie, at this point, I know you have things to get to. So you want to bounce before we get to well, before we start digging into Survivor Series yeah, predictions? No, it's I do. okay. I get All it. Right, I tried my best. Guys. Everybody have a go on. Great seeing you, brother. You too. Uh, have fun tonight. I shall. Um, okay, so. I'm going to take my place. You're going to move back over to his seat so it'll be all bunched up here. Um, okay. And I'll get through these quickly. Sorry. Do you have somewhere you need to be? I got to be out of here by at least 5.15. Oh, so. I'll be before that. Oh, I'll, yeah. I'll get Don't worry. Oh, this feels... This feels oh. A little more room now. Let's do it. Uh, I'll get through these quickly. Uh, we all said Pete Dunne, so if it is Adam Cole Definitely. versus Pete Dunne, do uh, you guys think Adam Cole retains here? Yeah, if that'd be the case. It depends on if what happens at War Games happens. Yeah. If Team Ciampa wins, Adam Cole has to retain. Agreed. Yeah. Agreed yeah. completely. Wholeheartedly because then... And you already negate the Pete Dunne yep. title shot that yep. he gets, and then now you can go towards yep. Champa you... versus Adam Cole. Yep. Mm-hmm. Um, so, yep, I'm, I'm, we're all on the same page there. Yep. Uh, yep. The Fiend, I wrote this down wrong, but the Fiend versus Daniel Bryan for the Universal title. Um, it's got to be the Fiend. It, it, who else? If, yeah. you think, if you think yeah. that they are not good, look. It's going to take somebody superhuman, and I hate to say that, mm-hmm. to finally be that person to beat the fiend. They haven't built anybody up on that roster yet. Nope. Daniel Bryan is gonna give he's gonna do it's gonna be Seth that Seth Rollins match all over again. It's mm-hmm. gonna be that match all over again. Mm-hmm. And it's eventually gonna be the fiend. It's gonna be the mandible claw, sister Abigail, one, two, three. Yep. Yeah, and because Daniel Bryan is so conflicted about everything that's going on again now with his where he's at and all this kind of stuff, it's just it's something the fiend will take advantage of and put it away. And the fiend saying he still hasn't forgotten what Daniel Bryan did to him kind of sets it up yep. that way. Uh, absolutely. Yeah. And to, to what you said that no one's been built up enough yeah. yet. Yeah. Just to mind ninja you here to where I think this is all going. Is I think the master purpose of sending Finn Balor back is to, to, bring, NXT is to bring the, de- the oh. is to make the demon cool again, right. and that's where they're building Finn Balor up. That to WrestleMania match, the WrestleMania match, where him, he gets, gets his comeuppance against. I want the fiend, and I he's saw, the one that finally takes I, the fiend out. And here's the thing, and it that, explains why he got the, the neck thing. Explains everything. But here's the thing: when that happens, real quick. I need the demon to be a different type of demon yeah, than what fair. we've seen. Absolutely. Because the demon we've seen is literally just, I know it's Finn Balor with face paint, but the whole point of the demon is supposed to be a different level. Yeah. The Fiend legitimately is different from Bray Wyatt. There are a few moves that are the same. And that's why he's so cool. Yeah, mm-hmm. but the Fiend is legitimately different. Yep. Like Bray Wyatt, we've seen when we watch the Firefly Funhouse segment, when Seth Rollins beat him up, Bray Wyatt can get whooped. Yep. The Fiend can't. Mm-hmm. Right. And right. he's like sad too while he's getting beat up. And he's sad. Yeah. Yeah, no, uh, uh, so, yeah. wholeheartedly. And if that be the case, I'm perfectly fine with it to set it up for WrestleMania. And to be fair, the fiend, or sorry, the the, the demon did have that vibe when he used to be when in he, NXT. When mm-hmm. he started being the demon, yeah. when he was in NXT, when yeah. they brought it to the main roster, it, that demon lost his luster. Yep. So that's when we did the Halloween orange pumpkin demon. That yeah. was the worst. And those, like, we were, they tried to make it a whole, like, mythology thing when he first got yeah. brought up. And they had those weird vignettes. They weren't cool, mm, those nope. vignettes. Yeah. It was overproduced for no unnecessary yeah. reason. Yeah, when, like, the whole thing was, like, it's, like, this thing inside of him that he didn't want to have to bring out. But yeah. now he's doing vignettes explaining it. And it was, like, that's totally different. Um, AJ Styles versus Shinsuke Nakamura versus Roderick Strong. Roka, who do you think is taking this My one? heart says Shinsuke. My mind says AJ. I, I hate to say this, that I agree with Roka. <laughs> exact, we're both on that page today. The exact same way. My heart says, says Shinsuke. Yeah. I know. there is Roderick Strong is going to put up a fight. Yeah, it's going to be a good match. It's going to be a good match, but a, they are pushing AJ Styles way too high for this not to be him. Yeah. 
Hot, I, I'm, you, I'm, I know, I know you need it, but you're not gonna put. You cannot put Roderick Strong. There's no way over both There's Shinsuke no and way. AJ Styles. Because if you sit, because that's what your mouth is. He's been a there form to of. provide a fantastic <laughs> match that, that, mouth that challenges <laughs> both of these guys. He is not going to win that belt. He is the buffer between. It's not the, a belt. It's not for a belt. Oh, I'm sorry, he's not going to no, win no, that match because that's the that's what your mouth is formulating. Yeah, that they yeah, get. It. I yeah, know no, what you do. No, <laughs> it's Roderick. No, this is not Roderick. No. It is going to look like it could be uh, the one yes, who needs Roderick doesn't need it. Roderick needs it more than the other two. No, Shinsuke, Shinsuke needs, needs it. <laughs> <laughs> Shinsuke needs it, dog. <laughs> Shinsuke needs yeah, it. He, he is, he, what does Shinsuke get out of pinning Roderick Strong? No, he pins AJ. He's not going to pin AJ, though. He'll pin AJ. It, it doesn't hurt either or for, it doesn't hurt AJ or Shinsuke to pin one another. I think Because they're both champs. Roderick's going to get so the is finish. Roderick. We don't give a shit about <laughs> <laughs> Roderick's going to get the finisher on AJ. Shinsuke's going to take out Roderick and take the pin. I was going to say the opposite. Oh. I think that Nakamura is going to hit the, the, Kinshasa. The, the Kinshasa on AJ, yeah. and then Roderick's going to sneak attack from, from behind, backbreaker, quick pin, and, and run out of there. That's a possibility. I, I, I feel like the, Roderick Strong needs those who are so much more than the right other now. Two. If this happens, the moment it happens, I am going to find every way possible to reach Ryan Satin via tweet, <laughs> email, smoke signal, text message, everything, and say, what the fuck just happened? And I'm just going to send them back a gif of someone popping their collar. <laughs> or, like, pointing at their head of how smart they are. But, I mean, you're looking at some brand ways, right? Wrong, it, it, p- it puts brand, it puts NXT over That's more, why. too. Yeah. You can't just That's have not NXT bad, lose to I get everybody. it. It's not a bad so, thing. NXT, so, like, there are certain, okay, yeah, damn. Well, but there can, are other NXT possibilities here. Shayna Baszler may be the one that I think Shayna Baszler could be the one if we talk about that because right. there's no way we'll in hell that, right because there's no way in hell Fish and O'Reilly are beating the Viking Raiders or New Day or New Day right so well if we can get to that now Becky Lynch Bailey Shayna Baszler you, ba- I also ba- think Shayna Baszler's gonna Shay- win Shayna needs it and I think we see the return of Ronda Rousey because this way it's well I think it's too early no, we see Ronda not to, not her official return, but mm-hmm. Ronda comes out and distracts Becky, and Just then enough. Shayna gets to pin someone, whether it's Bailey or whoever. Okay. But 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 uh-huh. we get the Ronda distracting Becky to start the seed to set up for WrestleMania. I think you're both wrong. You think Bailey gets it? Yes, I do. That's that's uh, you know that's who, also you want to talk about. She needs who more needs than it. Yeah, yeah. I, I and think, Bailey being the chicken shit heel that she's been playing at times to have her slide in, take this victory, do it somehow, and get the victory, people will go insane. That so she in other words, it off. so Shayna and those does ladies some, like each other. Put it in her Shana over. Or no, no. <sighs> she pins Shayna. So yeah, or yeah, because through something Becky does. That's what I was just about to say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shayna has Becky down, and then somehow, some way, Be- Bailey will slide in. Right. Pin Shayna one, two, three. Or your your thing works too. That Ronda shows up, distracts Becky, well, you know what? which keep, allows Bailey to do what she needs to do for Shayna. I'm but sorry. She's got to Shayna. Shayna's her girl. I'm right, sorry, but it could distract. And them I'm both. also this is this is on me. This is Survivor Series. Right. You know what? It, because of what it is, it's so many triple threat matches. There aren't there aren't any just one on one big Survivor Series team. This is the last pay per view before the Rumble. Exactly. Before, yes. Yeah. Okay, Ryan. I will acquiesce. <laughs> Yes. What? What? What are you that, saying? Yes. To? Well, because because I thought I, my mind was oh, either Ronda showing Ronda up, Ronda coming Ronda back here, yeah. or, Roy, or or showing up as a surprise at the Royal Rumble and winning the Royal Rumble to face off against Becky. It's one of the two, mm. or both. I would rather. I would more so believe because I don't trust the WWE creative and writing team, and you know some might be watching this. I don't trust them to hold this story right from November till April. It's tough. I don't trust him to hold it right with the two of them. Okay. Now, give me January to April. That's a safer bet. True. That's a safer Absolutely. bet. Absolutely. Okay. That's the road to WrestleMania. The road yeah, to right, WrestleMania right. is a safer bet. <laughs> it's also a bigger surprise. I think that, yeah. you know, Ronda being a surprise in the Women's Royal Rumble would be Coming at number, number 24 or no, 35. 30. 30. Of course she's never oh. 30. Of You're not going to have Ronda run at that Rumble. You put her at 30. <laughs> she's, not, she's not coming at number 24 either. That's like, no. a, that's like a, not an exciting number. That's where, that's where like a... Dana Brooks. What is be. it? Twenty one is the number, something like that. What's that number? So I think it's something like the that. The number is twenty one okay. of everybody, uh, uh, for the guys Royal Rumble, something right. like that. But yeah, but yeah, I think I tweeted the other day. I was like, you know, Ronda's number going to be number thirty in the women's Rumble, and everyone was like, no, that just. Bleh. And I'm like, this reaction is why she's going to be number thirty in the re- in the Rumble. Um, all right, then we got uh, Rollins versus McIntyre. Sorry, sorry, Rollins, McIntyre, Kevin Owens. 
uh, Orton and Ricochet, right? One, two, yeah, three, five. four, five. <laughs> versus Roman Reigns, Ali, Strowman, King Corbin, and Shorty G versus Team NXT, which has still not been announced yeah, yet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Whoever team, team NXT is that hasn't been announced. See, that's the problem. That's my problem, too, is that it's hard when you, with these other teams that haven't been announced yet. It's Team NXT who hasn't been announced. He's, I think you, if you want to leave this, you have to. They, if anything, they have to win this because the whole purpose of this Survivor Series is to prove that NXT is not a developmental company. Right. They are a brand. Yeah, but you're going to have, you're going to have Finn Team Balor. NXT beat Roman Reigns and Seth Rollins? So, potentially, <laughs> potentially, Finn Balor is Team NXT. Potentially. I don't think he will be, but potentially. Keith Lee. Probably. Matt Riddle. Probably. Domin- Dominic Dykovich. Those are the people I'm glad you're as good at Jamie as saying the name. And for the final swerve, forget it, War Games. It happens here. Kevin Owens. Switches teams. Kevin Owens. I thought about that. To be honest with you, I thought about that. Kevin Owens, the fifth on, on Team NXT. Who decides that, who Or he's just and four. Or he's four. There's no announcement of a fifth person. And he switches in the match. And he switches in the match. Who's, who, who's deciding at Team NXT? They haven't said triple. I mean, they haven't. Yeah. Said, that's what I'm saying. They that's haven't what, said who it uh, is. Potentially, you know what's crazy would be uh, undisputed with Champa. That's the five. Nope. Because mm. then you'd have this whole kind. No, of... No, we can't. Because undisputed is already wrestling. Today. All oh, four of them right. already yeah. have matches. That's right. My bad. Champa is one okay. of the five for sure. Fair point. Fair point. Okay. Yeah, Champa is one of the five. Yeah. Balor. Yeah. Keith Lee. Well, see, Champa is the hard part because it's like, do you put Champa or do you put Riddle in? Put Champa in. Yeah. Because you because you want Riddle because you know what I'm saying they love Riddle because of the hype he has. Yeah. So you put Champa, Keith Lee, Dominic Dykovich, Finn Balor because it makes sense because why not have a main roster guy yeah, yeah. who knows the main roster guys? Yeah. He knows them and your fifth person never comes out for because everybody will think in the audience it's Velveteen Dream now mm. if he doesn't show up at War Games we think it's Velveteen Dream it's Velveteen Dream could be. During the middle of the match, when it seems like all of, it's down to the final people from NXT to whichever brand, more than likely Raw. And then Cameron Grimes comes out with his cool hat. Gotta go. <laughs> 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 gotta go. Uh, all right. But yeah, I think if, if you want to pull the swerve, it works. Okay. All right. I'm into that. I'm going to say. I'm going to say. Team. SmackDown wins. Just for the Fox, they need the ratings. Fox, they need the ratings. Be on top. They need the ratings. I don't see guys from NXT beating Roman Reigns, <laughs> Braun Strowman, and King thing. Corbin. That's the problem. You don't have to see the NXT guys beat them. The Raw guys can beat them. But the Raw guys don't have problems within them. Yes, right? they do. No, yeah, they Randy do. Orton and Ricochet. Yeah. Seth yeah, they Rollins just teamed and Drew, up. Seth Rollins to and take Drew McIntyre. Yeah, they don't like each other. All right. That that whole team is a combustible Fair element. Enough. Well, you got Shorty G and Corbin. I'm going Team SmackDown also because I already had NXT people winning. So okay. that's just me personally. Right. I'm going Team SmackDown. I go Raw. I team go NXT. NXT. I like that. We're okay. all across the board there. Fair enough. Um, I will say, okay, so the women's one also, there, there's Charlotte, Natalia, Kyrie Sane, Asuka, and Sarah Logan versus Sasha Banks, mm-hmm. Carmella, Dana Brooke, Lacey Evans, and Nikki Cross versus Team NXT. This is the Survivor Series match where I do think it'll be the, the Team NXT that takes it here because the women's division NXT is oh, they haven't superior. Announced, they haven't even announced who those women are? Nope. Oh, because it's going to be Bianca Belair. Yep. <laughs> Straight, it's go- and we're finally going to get Bianca and Sasha, which is going to be awesome. She gonna, ooh, she it she won't be throw. Shayna, will it? Because Shayna's already fighting in the triple threat. Triple... No, she's not Shayna. Because she's in the, triple, be threat. the triple threat. It'll so. be Bianca. Yeah. It'll be so Bianca. Be, uh, maybe I.O. It'll Io. be Rhea, I'm guessing. Tegan Knox. T- or Io yeah. Shirai. Io Shirai sounds right. And great. maybe Tegan Knox. Maybe Candice. Maybe, maybe Tegan. Can- yeah. One Candace of those guys. Great. One of those women. Um, I would say Tegan Knox because we've been seeing a lot of her. Mm-hmm. Work with the women, so the, between because to her having her and Rhea Ripley, it, it makes sense. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It makes sense. But also, we keep forgetting one important thing too. And I just thought about this before we go further. Remember, NXT UK is still NXT. True. What if Walter is on this five man team? Ooh, wow, I like that. You, I just it just hit me because I'm That's like, fair. we keep thinking NXT is just the NXT here, mm. but after we, I understand when they was in when they were in England. That's why you use Imperium. However, they made sure to let it be known they are still NXT 
no matter what. Yeah. Solid point. Yep. Actually, Walter should be part of that match. He should. He, they, they should have him as part you of that need, match. You know why? And he's not on the weekend. And he's not at War Games. But you know why? Because you need a monster. Yep. Mm-hmm. You need a monster. And who else? Your biggest monster. Okay, so then you could still have Kevin Owens swerve to help NXT win. Mm-hmm. But you need a monster because you got Strowman. You've got McIntyre. You need somebody. No one on the NXT roster is big enough. What no. time do you have to be out of here? 5.15? Yeah. Yeah, you know you're the one keeping yourself here. Hey, brother, Let's I'm go. This. Let's go. Oh, what's the next one? <laughs> so, so let, just just wrap that one up. Which team do you think is winning on the women's side? <sighs> I want I want the the Raw women to win just because I want to see what happens. <laughs> okay, <laughs> Roka. Uh, yeah, I think Raw women win. Who Charlotte? Charlotte? What's Charlotte? Raw? Charlotte's on Raw. Yeah, yeah, Charlotte. She's, yeah. Charlotte's on the Charlotte Raw. Charlotte needs a victory. Here. And I'm sticking with Team NXT for okay. that one. Okay. Uh, Viking Raiders. We got two matches left, and then we're out of here. Viking Raiders versus New Day versus Undisputed Era. The Viking Raiders. <laughs> you going Viking Raiders? <laughs> I'm going New Day. I'm going with New Day. That's like their... No, they need it. They need it. New Day needs it. New Day is like their, like, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Like their uh, legacy people. Like yeah. they're like, they're, they're part of the company now. Like they, I don't, everyone They is, are like, a company. They're marquee type people. Yeah. I have a hard time believing they're going to lose to either of these teams. I believe that it'll come down to somehow with Undisputed Era and New Day. Yes. They'll take, they'll both, all four of them work together to take out the Viking Raiders. Undisputed Era. You're undisputed there. This is the shock of the night. Undisputed They're going to shock the Apple. system. Undisputed shock the system. That's the whole logo. Undisputed era shocks the system and beats both these people. Uh, and Who it, takes it, the pin, neither though? Neither one of them loses by losing. No, neither I, one of those teams loses by losing. Thing, though, NXT gains by it, winning more than they. If it's undisputed era, it's got to be New Day. It's got to be. It's gotta be Kofi. It'll be Kofi. Ugh, that's the part that hurts. It's right. like, it I, can't be Viking Raiders. It's not a big no, enough no, no, pin. No, no, no. I know it's not the Viking Raiders. Raiders. I know it's but not former WWE champion losing to NXT yeah, talent. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. think that's the, that's the only thing that hits me here mm-hmm, at. Mm-hmm. The former WWE champion. Like, Big I e, think I think we're setting up a turn for New Day down the line. No, they've said they are not turning. I know. They can say so, whatever they want. Exactly. No, you shut your mouth. No, I don't think turning on each other. Oh, you never said they They never said they wouldn't turn. Oh, you said they wouldn't turn on each other. Uh-huh. Just saying. <laughs> uh, so you're going New Day as well, or Viking Raiders? I'm going. Okay, I'm going New Day now. All right, I'm also going New Day. You're going NXT. Undisputed Era. Hell yeah! Uh, we did the women's match. So last, we're here. Brock Lesnar versus Rey Mysterio in a no holds barred match <laughs> for the WWE title. This is what I'm going to say here. I think, as much as it pains me to say this, I think that this is the moment when Dominic turns. I think Dominic, because it's the whole no holds barred thing, mm-hmm. I think Dominic comes out and and beats up Rey Mysterio for letting this happen to him, and we start the build to Dominic versus Rey Mysterio at WrestleMania. That's my that's my mm. that's my big theory here that they were finally getting that they've been setting it up for too long, and Rey has let so many bad things happen to Dominic over the past right, year, right. and he keeps everything is dedicated to Dominic. My Dom- son, my son, my son, mi, mi gente, whatever it is. Mi, mijo. Mijo, mijo, mi mijo, mijo, all the time. Like it's all Dominic all the time. <laughs> It's it's they're shoving it in our face. It was gonna happen with Samoa Joe, but they had they stopped because of the injury. They were like, you know what? It's even more impactful if it happens with Brock Lesnar, and they move it to Brock. That's my guess. But if it's, it's not because of Brock, it's because of Heyman. You what get what I'm mean? saying? Like Heyman is the dude that's the reason why Dominic turns. Okay. Not because because you know what I'm saying. Like Heyman's been whispering in his Heyman's ear. Heyman's whispering in his ear the whole time. See, so. I was gonna say it's Andrade who's been whispering in his ear the whole time. Ooh. Yeah. yeah. The Eddie vibes, you know? Yeah. Ooh. Like that guy, that's who you're following? Well, he loses all the time. Like, you're he lets you get beat up. I'm a winner. Like, I can help you. Like, we can help you. We're young. We're cool. Where is Kane uh, in all this? Doesn't Kane show up to help him win? I was actually, you know, my uh, when I was formulating this idea in my head at first, it was yeah. going to be that Ray wins and Dominic and Kane help him. But you can't take time off Brock. I think on Kane Ray. is the one that turns, not. Uh, not uh, his son. Well, I don't know. So Kane's As out for MMA Kane, guys. You Kane's have out yeah, he, he might be injured. Kane's Kane's out. That was if a, he shows up, I think he'll turn on on uh, Ray. No, because then UFC you gotta guys. have because then you gotta and have then they pound him and Dominic. Into yeah, pieces. but then it's like then what? True. Then what? Then it's done. The angle is done. And then they send Kane home. Yes, they've signed him for five they, years. This happens all the time. That they, they sign him for five years and then send him no, home. No, no, no. I'm saying this happens all the time with angles. They build something up and then it just ends and you're done and you move on. And I yeah, think that's but possible. Here. But if you signed Kane, no way Ray's be, winning the title. Yeah, but if you Ray's signed Kane to be like a Mexican to get the the, the Latino audience, 
I feel like turning him heel defeats but, that. But but having him beat in 30 seconds doesn't help him either. Like, Did not that, help him, no. That's what I'm saying. A crown Jewel, you built him up and he got Unfor- beat so quickly. Didn't unfortunately, help. unfortunately, Crown Jewel, is, I hate to keep calling it, it's a glorified house show. It's not part of the canon, it feels it, like. It, it's not point. supposed to be. Sure, but you're not no, going to. No, 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 that's I, like telling a jury, disregard that testimony. They're still going to think about it when they're back there in the, in the back. I still saw him lose in 30 seconds. You can't take that memory out of my brain. <laughs> disregard that testimony. Yeah, sure. <laughs> yeah, sure thing, Judgy. <laughs> judgy? <laughs> wow, okay. So I'm just I, yeah, uh, I'm going Brock last night. I go, right. I go Brock. I was I hoping. Brock. I go Brock. Brock? There's no way Ray wins this. No. Thing. No way. Yeah. I think it put up a hell of just a fight, straight, though. But do, do you think it's going to be a straight up? Just, yes. Just between the uh, two yeah, of them, no standing in the Because I don't think the Dominic turn is that big of a deal. No, it is. If it, if it's there's, it's, it's, oh, it's it's definitely. Not, he's, he's, he's a oh, child. For me, no, nah. no, no, no. I think, the Dominic, I think the, the when they told would be a bigger turn. When they told you Dominic has been, when he kept saying Dominic's been training, yeah. there was a reason. They let you know this. If Ray and wins, he almost lost custody of his own child on <laughs> WWE TV. Just the rest of the fans remember still that shit. Still one of my favorite angles. I know. Still That's why it was such angles. a big deal. Because when Dominic, does, he can literally say like, "I'm your poppy to Ray," and everyone oh, will man. lose their minds when he Pour says it. Pulling out for Eddie, man. Eddie was still the best of those things. I, I, I say if it does happen. Uh, I think Ray could win without Dominic turning. I think Dominic helps him win. You say he's been training. There's another way to look at it. He's been training. He's fighting. He's going to fight back against Lesnar. He's going to counter like Lesnar. He kick him in the balls. I fu- and but all again, that kind the of match at, the match at Mania is to, is final. It's the passing of the torch. It's to send Ray off. It's Ray and Dominic for sure. You can't. Uh, just, they might. Uh, the only well, the only other no, side of that is the tag. Like, yeah, the tag. That, he now could that win. I could accept. He helps him. Like because I also That's thought the same thing. thing that yeah. Kane shows up with Dominic. They because of the no holds barred thing. They help him win the yeah. title. Ray gets one more title win before he retires or whatever. Yeah. Then he gets to have the moment with his son. He loses it to Brock in a few weeks. Then Ray and Dominic get to have a tag yeah, team. We still got a December pay per view. Yes. Yeah. And then Ray and Dominic have a tag team. They get their WrestleMania moment, mm-hmm. and then Dominic can turn. Or something like and that. Then, right. Right. So okay. it's one of the it's yeah, one of the two yeah, in my yeah. eyes. Okay. It's one I'm of the two in my eyes. But I, get, I give it to Brock. I would like to see Ray get it. Like you said, if it, for the small moment, because he need. I, they've been building like he's going to have at least a minimal just to say he was WWE champion again yeah. before he goes. And this is this is pretty much your only shot to do that right now. Yes. If, you're, if you're the WWE, if you're going to say he's going to get a title, because the Universal Title picture is sewed up. Yeah. You can't touch it. Yeah. This is the only shot you got to do it. So if you give it to him, cool. He drops it again. Next pay-per-view. It's easy. Couldn't agree more. Yeah. Uh, Jay, where can people find you on the internet? Twitter, Instagram, at Mr. Jay Washington and the Mad Tide Podcast. Uh, and what about you, Roka? Of course, always at the Roka Says on Twitter and on Instagram. Thanks again for having me on, brother. So Thank you, good brother. To, it's always on. good to come no, back. Great having you guys yeah. here. Uh, Jamie is at Jamie underscore Iavine on Twitter. I believe it's no underscore on Instagram. I'm at Ryan Satin on social media. The show's at Wrestling Sheet. ProWrestlingSheet.com. That's where you can find all the top stories in the world of professional wrestling throughout the week. You can check out our podcast. You can subscribe there. You just search Wrestling Sheet Radio on all the major podcast platforms. Uh, you can find our YouTube channel. It's youtube.com slash C slash Wrestling Sheet. You can watch the video of this show where you actually see our faces. You're not just <laughs> listening to our voices. Uh, you can check me out sometimes on WWE Backstage on Fox Sports. It airs uh, Tuesday nights at 11 p.m. Eastern times. I'll be doing uh, news correspondence every once in a while there on my segment called The Satin Sheet. Okay, that's it. We're done. Officially tapping out for now. Until next time, stay out of the dirt. Keep your eye on the show.